God is almighty, but his power is made manifest through our spiritual dimensions. The more you become active spiritually, the more you allow the Lord to manifest his power in and through you. God works through your spiritual dimensions to reach your physical life. So that's why you must be active spiritually in order to experience the power of God. That there must be your part to play. The Bible says we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10. So anything that God has not done in our lives is not because he does not want to do it. No, it's not even because Satan is strong. Mm -mm. It's because our dimensions are not active enough to allow him to walk. Because he's a spirit. Your dimensions, your spiritual dimensions determine your physical manifestations. You need to be active in your prayer life, in your Bible study, in your givings, in your, in your witnessing, in your love walk, in order for God's power to manifest in and through your real life and i said it this week your real life is your spiritual life what to do physically will be empowered by what to do spiritually so if there is no input spiritually there will be no results physically you must invest spiritually in order to reap physically men who spend time with god spend less time with men what you do physically is empowered by what you do spiritually. You can't just wake up and do makeup and go to work. That is not life. You must have done something spiritual before you leave your house because it is that spiritual dimension that God will use to meet you in the course of the day. Don't just wake up and go to work. You must invest some 30 minutes or one hour in prayer. During the day, listen to a message. Keep your spiritual dimensions active. And you will see God. How do you cause the land to favor you? By serving the Lord in that land. Where you serve is where the land is in. If you allow human activities to interfere with your service, then you don't understand kingdom principles. In Mark chapter 10, it says, whoever leaves father and mother and lands, nothing should interfere with your service. Unless you give life to it, you will not get life from it. The land you serve, that land begins to favor you. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58. Your kingdom service in the land is what will cause the land to open up for you. It says, always abounding. Matthew chapter 24, verse 46. And blessed is that servant. Find something to do in the house of God. The blessedness of service is what makes the earth open The question is, what are you doing for God? Two, in the altar you're planted. What are you doing in the house you're planted? You know why? It says, those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts, in the house. Those who are planted in the house. Those who are planted in the house. I'd like you to renew your commitment to service. Stop sitting down. You're wasting time. Nursing your ego. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. We're in the house of God. Drop down your title. Drop down your pride. Drop down your excuses and become a servant. And you will see how the hand of God will lift you up. The land will start favoring you. All of a sudden, your business will start opening up. All of a sudden, your children will get good jobs. All of a sudden, your husband is promoted. But you know it's not all of a sudden. You know it's because I'm serving, the land is opening. I'm serving, the land is opening. In fact, you can't even put your request on the platform of your kingdom service. Lord, because I'm serving you, my children will not beg. Lord, because I'm serving you, this business will never close. Lord, because I'm serving you, my promotion, this office must come forth. But if you're not serving, how are you going to pray?